guys and welcome to episode 6 of Crazy Craft. This is Talio202 here and what we're going to do today is we're going to be experimenting with the Blood Mage mod. So basically I've made myself a lovely little sacrificial knife here and I'm going to be going making my... I've got a blood altar. I've got some stuff. I'm basically going to be sacrificing a whole bunch of my... Oh wait, I just need to go grab some more uh, stone here. I forgot I was crafting some. Basically going to be sacrificing myself up a whole bunch because apparently you know, good hardworking blood mages start sac start sacrificing themselves instead of others. And then once you do that and you make a second tier sacrificial altar, which requires a bunch of crafting pieces you make by sacrificing bits in of yourself, you uh, then go and move on and start sacrificing other things. So here we go guys, here's my lovely little blood altar, so I'm just going to sacrifice all of my health here, or most of it anyway. And uh, hopefully we'll throw this cobblestone in. Uh, sorry, stone in, not cobblestone. You throw your stone in there, and it makes blank slates. So you use those blank slates in combination with this weak blood orb I've got here, and those are used to make um, uh, these blood runes, which I've got one here made already. Uh, I was just making sure that everything worked before I threw this up and uh, started recording, guys. So what we're going to do is just go and make a bunch of these, continu continually sacrificing my health here just to make sure that we've got everything going. Now I'm just going to make sure I've got fully food because this takes a lot of food guys because you're basically constantly de deplenishing your health in order to make this all go. Okay, so uh, put that up there. So take that back. So then what we do is you make a crafting table, you put two of those on there, you put this in the middle, and then you surround it in stone, and you get these blood runes. So you need eight blood runes, which you then put below in a ring around with the center empty of this little uh, blood altar here. So I'm just going to put that there, I'm just going to eat some more of this pumpkin pie, sacrifice a little bit more of my health, and hopefully we'll get this all set up, sorted, and get ready to go. Alright guys, so like I said, I've got a few more of these now. I just need to make sure I get eight blood runes. So once I get the eight blood runes, I'm going to basically go um, build that up, and then we're going to hopefully be able to sacrifice our first mob to my lovely little blood altar here. So while I was away, I basically... Ma uh, made myself this lovely little extended house here. So with that, it... Ah, sorry about that. With that, I've basically made myself a little new house over there. I've got this extended. I turned my first little base I had over here into more of a work area. I made some crystal chests here just because I've, I've been collecting a lot of stuff and I want to have it all on me and basically ready to go. Hopefully I've got a little bit more stone ready here because I've, we need lots and lots of stone to complete all of this. I don't know if that's quite enough, so I might have to go mine for stone. And uh, I've got myself in my inventory here this iron sword because that's how you, you use an iron sword in a tier two um, blood altar in order to make yourself a... Um, uh, sacrificial dagger. So, sacrificing other people instead of yourself, because that's what we blood mages want to do. We don't want to sacrifice ourselves, we want to sacrifice other things. And those other things will be coming up soon. Ah, sorry. Uh, so, eat more blackberries, because, you know, blackberries fuel blood magic, don't you know? Blackberries. Evil, evil berries. That's what they are. Evil berries. Evil blackberries. Here we go, okay. So one, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two. Thankfully you actually don't need to make, apparently, that many blood orbs, because the blood orbs are reusable, which is a great feature, because, let's face it, I've gone through a lot of uh, health here just trying to get the rest of this fueled up. It actually, um, the blood altar can store 10,000 life points. I'm not entirely sure how much is used up every time you uh, sacrifice little bits of yourself, but let's just say I've used a lot to get what I've needed so far, and it takes 2,000 in order to uh, sacrifice, um, in order to fill a single weak um, blood orb, so I've had to sacrifice a lot of myself, 
and I've had to do a lot of things to get as far as I've gotten so far. So let's go over here, just sacrifice a little bit more. I think we're running a little low in the altar there because the rest of them have popped up faster than that and this one still hasn't popped up. I'm actually going to go quickly mine some stuff while I'm waiting on that. Hopefully I can get myself some stone because I'm going to need lots and lots of stone and I can also s harvest all these blueberries here because bl apparently berries fuel blood magic. So, you know, you go all those healthy people eating their all, he all their healthy food, you never know, they might be blood mages. <laughs> anyway guys, um, so like I said, uh, if you haven't checked it out already, the beta for Crazy Craft is available now since it's Friday. So I would definitely recommend checking that out because it is awesome. I'll be continuing to pop out episodes um, pretty much every single day here. Sorry about I had that little bit of wait, but I had a, was having a few recording issues with Fraps, so I just didn't get as many episodes out this week as I wanted. But I will be continuing to pop those episodes out as quickly as possible. So anyway guys, I'm just gonna go hopefully find myself some stone. I'm just gonna maybe dig into the side of this mountain here. I'm just a little wary about going over here because there tend to be um, water dragons and I don't want to face off with a water dragon when I'm deliberately decreasing my health every few minutes. Okay, so let's just get that up there. And uh, so we'll see what we can do with this mod here. I'm liking it so far. The only thing I would have to say is it can be a little bit annoying just getting that uh, setup started because it requires a lot of health sacrificed and if your health isn't regening terribly quickly you're sitting there wasting time and waiting for stuff. You're staring at the altar being like, please, please regenerate health, regenerate, please, and it's a bit of, pain, of a pain in the butt. Other than that though, it's looking pretty interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I definitely recommend trying it out. I hopefully will have myself a lovely little second tier blood altar soon, which I will then go and sacrifice mobs to. Once you get the sacrificial dagger set all up, basically you sacrifice the mobs to it and it uses a lot less um, resources and you're, instead of sacrificing yourself, you're sacrificing the mobs. And they actually die in one hit, so you can basically lure over something that's fairly tough and take it out in one hit as long as it's a, an original vanilla mob, because apparently that only works with the original vanilla, vanilla mobs. Okay, there we go. Just get that all set up and cooking there. I'm just gonna run, throw um, my f current stuff in the... Uh, Cobble, throw my current cobblestone in the furnace, get that cooking. Actually, you know what? Throw it in this furnace because that one's closer and I don't want to have to walk as far. There we go. Throw it in there. I'm going to grab the stuff from the one up there just to keep myself going. Oh, more food, more food. Because I need to regenerate my health. I don't want to be a beginner blood mage for much longer. It's really expensive. It hurts a lot. I've been sacrificing myself all day long and I haven't gotten anything for it so far. Alright guys, so we're going to get back over here. Hopefully, ah, perfect. That one's all set up. So I'll just grab that oh, out of there. Okay. Throw the new one in. And what do I have I got so far? So I've got two, so let's make the next one up. So, like I said... Throw the blood over in the middle. Oh, I don't have enough cobblestone. See, yeah, see, there are limits to this. It's the only thing. I, it just, I gotta, like, I, I, I wouldn't have thought I'd need that much stone, but it's a lot of stone to be a blood mage. Who would have thought? Blood mages need stone masons. Well, you know, gotta have something to fuel your empire on, whether it be uh, stone or brick or wood or whatever. Okay. Uh, and I just used the last one. That was silly of me. I should have just made the next one. Oh well. Okay, get over here, grab that, eat this, because knowing my luck, I'm gonna need it. And grab these. Okay, that makes me have eight. Run over here, switch to that, sacrifice, 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 right clicking all day long, eat some food, run over here, construct my next lovely opus to more blood runes. There we go. There we go. Blood rune number five. So I just need 
three more blood runes, and then I will have... Oh no, it's looking like it's nighttime already. Again. Okay. okay. I cannot believe I did not realize what I was doing. That was such a rookie mistake there, guys. Sorry about that. Did not mean to make you watch me dig with an iron pickaxe, only to realize that I had a silk touch pickaxe, which... And I could use it for the only time a silk touch pickaxe is really useful. Unless... Which is when you're mining stone. Huh. Silly me. Okay, I'm gonna run over here while that's regenerating. Go dig down my little tunnel here. Just get myself some more stones so I don't run out. Because you need lots and lots of stone guys to be a blood mage. Blood maids. Let's go. Come on. Dig down, dig down, dig down, dig down, 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 down. Ooh, maybe I'll find something interesting while I'm doing this. I doubt it. But, okay. Clear out that. And dig down, down, down into the deeps. Down we go. Down we go. Where no one goes, except this is Minecraft, so everyone goes down and we go. Alright. That should be enough. Apples. Okay. You know what? Let's just get a little bit more, because I've got, I haven't got that much health right now, so running back over to the blood altar to sacrifice that little bit amount of health isn't going to do much for me anyway. Let's just wait till I get a little bit more. There we go. Okay. That looks like a decent supply. Alright, so let's throw that torch up there. We don't want monsters spawning in here. Let's eat some more apples. Just make sure that regen keeps on going. Equip my sword on the off chance that something has decided to come out here. And here we go, up, up, up and away, and out, and over. Okay guys, so I've got enough to make the final uh, stone here. Uh, so, oh, sorry, blood rune? Okay, so I'm gonna set that all up here, and here we go. Awesome. So now I'm basically just gonna mine this up, because I want to make it a little bit higher. I wish I had thought about that earlier before I had set it up. But I basically, I'm pretty sure that's empty, so we'll just deal with that. So I'm just gonna set it down here once these ants disappear come on get off my that's my tile there we go yeah what is with the ants and ants like my blood altar apparently that's okay uh, more the merrier because later on i will sacrifice you okay so i'm gonna put these around here and one two three four five six seven eight all right now I saw something actually looked kind of cool, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put... Oh, wait, you can't do it out of stone. Forgot. You need cobblestone for that. Um, so I'm going to put these cobblestone stairs around it, because they actually look really cool, and it makes um, a little like neat effect around your sacrificial altar, because we will all want neat, sac cool-looking sacrificial altars. There we go. Um, to, you know, well, whatever. I'll f put a couple more out there. So anyway, I'm just going to continue to sacrifice my health here, just get that in there, because now that I've got a tier 2 one, I can put this sword in, and as soon as this sword fills up, we will have ourselves a sacrificial sword, which means we can sacrifice something other than myself, which will be nice, because they will all die that way. Anyway, I'm just going to run over here while I'm waiting for my health to regenerate, and I'm just gonna go dig down again into my little cobblestone mine here, except this time I want cobblestone, not stone, because I've got more than enough stone right now. I'm actually a little short on cobblestone, so we can just decorate our little altar out there. Okay, so we're gonna dig down, dig down, dig down, and hopefully we'll get that going. Okay, just get myself a little bit more cobblestone, enough to make myself a slightly prettier looking altar there. So let's go up here, down, down, down. Okay, that should be enough there. Just gonna heal, keep on healing myself, because until we've got that sacrificial sword there, we're just gonna be relying on ourselves to power on the blood of ourselves to power it, not the blood of others, because the blood of others is such a faster fuel source than my own. But well, we don't have that right now. So let's get back over to my lovely little blood altar here, and ah, uh, food, food. Uh, what every blood altar mage needs. Food. Okay. And while that's waiting, just gonna... Wait. Click that again. Just make sure. Alright. Let's get the rest of this cobblestone up. I think three should be enough. That's twelve. Alright. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I didn't need quite as much as I thought I did, but, well, you know. Ah! Ah! I hit the ground too hard. I, unfortunately, sacrificing yourself counts as hitting the ground too hard. Okay, guys. Let's just run over here. Bye-bye, Mr. Attack Squid. Not dealing with you. Okay. Uh, where is my corpse? Hello, Mr. Corpse. Yay! Grave blocks. I love the grave blocks mod, by the way, guys. It just saves so much time. It's so much more convenient. And there we go. Alright, now let's equip all this. Make sure we continue eating, because that's what glow growing blood mages need, guys. Food. Alright. Put... Let's reorganize my inventory, get everything back to where it's supposed to be, and hopefully we'll have ourselves a uh, sacrificial sword in a little bit. Um, the only problem is, though, like I said, don't sacrifice too much health too quickly, because when it doesn't have any health to draw from, it'll actually slow and reverse the process, so you want to make sure you have enough supplies in your altar, which I don't know if I did because it's taking a while on this sword here, and hopefully we'll get there. I just, I want it to finish because then we will have a lovely, lovely sacrificial sword and sacrificial dagger, and that, that sacrifices something other than me, because I don't want to die. I want to kill other things because they will die instead of me and then I don't have to sit here guarding my lovely little thing. So I'm just gonna basically keep on running around here sacrificing my health here. I'm gonna go run and get that golden apple out of there because you know what regen is what we need right now. Okay guys so I'm gonna go get I think I have a shiny golden apple and I'll get that get myself some health. Um, No it wasn't in here. Uh, regular golden apple? I could have- yeah, no, golden apple. Alright, didn't really want to use this for this, I'd rather have saved it for a boss, but, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get apples? I don't know if that works. I don't know, you guys tell me how you feel about that. I am not the most humorous person in the world. <laughs> You're just gonna have to deal with my lame attempts at humor, guys. Okay. Uh, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Golden apple. Okay, just keep on sacrificing, because while I have the regen, we can just sacrifice. Here we go, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. All of it. Fill! 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 Knowing my luck, I'm going to kill myself accidentally here, because I just won't realize that I have stuff. Fill! 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 Come on! Grow. Ah! No! I overclicked. That was silly. That was entirely my fault. I cannot believe I did that. Uh, let's go get my stuff. Hopefully this sword... I sh Oh man, that was... That must have... I must have filled, like, added a decent amount of stuff in there. So you're basically, basically, like I said, pop your iron sword in there, and you'll get this lovely, lovely little sacrificial sword here, got Uh, sacrificial... Um, dagger here. So, let's put everything in the right spots. Everything where it's supposed to be. This, you go there. You go here. Um, you go there. And, voila! Dagger of Sacrifice. Sorry, not Sacrificial Sword. Dagger of Sacrifice. Either way! Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do is go find a mob, lure it in here, and we're going to kill it as, an, as a lead-off to the end of the episode here, guys. I'm just gonna go quickly sleep. Sleep. I have died 41 times on the server. Woo! Because that's... I, I, I'm just... Uh, let's... I bet we're gonna hit 300 before we get to the end of the crazy crap, guys. I am very, very accident prone. Alright, now... What can we do? You know what, I'm gonna throw some of the stone in here. Just because we're gonna need it. And in the meantime, let's see if the dagger. Let's sacrifice this ant. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, let's find something bigger to sacrifice and fill our lovely little altar with. 
In the meantime, uh, here, don't need you. Let's take out you, put you in my inventory, and anyway. Yay! Die, Mr. Ant. I don't want you on my altar. And are you? All of you, get off of my altar. It's mine. It's mine, and it's evil, and it's mine, and we have a working tier 2 altar, guys. So next episode, we'll start off, and I will get myself something to sacrifice. I will get some, maybe put up a little pen here, get some horses, or pigs, or cows, or sheep, or something. And we will start our lovely reign of terror with my lovely little altar of sacrifice here, guys. So I'll leave you there. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you later. Leave a like if you like in the comments, or comment if you liked it. And talk to you later, guys. Bye!